Today we're going to be analyzing the supply chain of a local winery, Le Vignob de Clobay. We'll be looking at their process of making wine and where it creates value for its customers. The process for, of creating wine can be broken down into three P's, product, packaging and promotion. For production, there is a growing of the vines, the creation of the seven products and finally the outsourcing of growing apples. Packaging involves the bottling process, corking of the bottles and finally labeling for final sale. The final P, promotion, is broken down into three sales points which are the SAQ, vineyard sales and finally local markets and events. All wine production occurs in Elmer, Quebec. The vines are purchased from suppliers and take four years before grapes begin to grow. Furthermore, there are six types of vines, four of which are used for the red wine and two for the white. The harvest occurs in the fall, usually during the first week of October, and the majority of the harvest is completed by volunteers. Once the grapes are collected from the vine, they are put into a crusher that separates the grapes from the stems. After the grapes are separated, they are put into the grape press, and this is one of the many ones they use. The fermentation process then occurs in 1,000 liter vats within approximately a six month period. When the fermentation process is complete, the owner then filters the wine and then fills sterilized bottles with the product. Using a corker, an employee inserts a cork into the neck of the bottle. The cork is able to fit into the neck since it is compressed into a smaller diameter then pushed into the bottle. For decorative purposes, a red capsule is then added using a special heat gun. All labels for the products are put on by hand. Furthermore, the labels are designed by the owner, however the printing of the labels is outsourced. There are seven different types of products produced at this winery. A red wine, a white wine, a fortified wine, an apple ice cider, a red ice wine, a rosé ice cider, and a maple flavored cider. The bottles in which are used for the products are an area where the owner creates a value added benefit as they are very unique and not commonly used by most wineries. Customers love the look and design of the bottles and the owner receives compliments on a regular basis. There are three selling streams used by this producer. The first one is the SAQ which is the Quebec equivalent of the LCBO. The owner also sells directly from the wine yard where guided tours are offered in the summertime. Lastly, he sells at various local markets and events in the Gatineau region. This winery creates added value for its customers by producing unique local products which are highly creative and not commonly found in stores. Secondly, the owner creates value by offering free guided tours in the summertime. Lastly, the harvest creates value for the customer as they get to be a part of the winemaking process. One way businesses create value today is through the use of social media and the internet. Raymond has created a website, a Facebook page and a Twitter account to advertise his products and keep customers in the know about upcoming events. Furthermore, the website is in both official languages so his target audience can understand it. It also explains all the types of wines by describing the flavors and what is best to serve with it. Raymond updates both the Facebook page and the Twitter feed with upcoming events such as wine tastings and events hosted at the winery. Attending local events such as this one in Elmer, Quebec, Raymond is able to promote his products by offering free wine tastings to new customers who are exploring local offerings. Raymond is able to sell his products direct to the customer and provide various information on the winery and the products in which he has to offer. Furthermore, he can express where customers can find his products for future sales which are the SAQ local other local markets, and the winery. Le Vignoble de Clobailly creates exceptional high quality products which are below market prices when compared to offerings found at the SAQ and the LCBO. In addition, customers are supporting an important local economy which provides seasonal work for local residents. We highly recommend you visit the winery if you are ever in the neighborhood and experience what the winery has to offer. So sit down and enjoy a glass of wine. We would like to give a special thanks to Raymond for allowing us to visit his facilities to take pictures and videos, as well as inviting us to observe him doing personal selling in the marketplace.